Hello and welcome back to Tech and Connect. Today I'm going to be reviewing all my eco parts that I received in my previous behind the scenes video. It's, this is going to be a long video today uh, as I'm going to review all the eco parts that I received. Um, I'll link, I'll have links in the description of where you can find the certain parts in the video. And then also link up here for the previous video that I did, the behind the scenes video of the fans and also when I receive the EK parts. This is going to be a long video, so just stick with me guys, it's going to be great. So the first part I'm going to be reviewing today is the mono block for my motherboard. It's actually not a Z270 board, but a Z370 board. But EK said it should be compatible, so we'll see when I, that arrives here. So gotta love the packaging of EK. It's always beautiful, really expensive packaging. Everything costs extra, so yeah. So let's see what is in the box. So in the box you get installation manual, you get a bunch of screws. These are going to be all the screws that you're going to need to install this to your motherboard. Nothing extra is needed. Thermal paste and an Allen wrench or an Allen key um, to tighten everything down. Some thermal pads for your VRMs and MOSFETs. And then the block block itself is huge it's heavy and really nice looking i'm going to try to plug this into my rgb strip that's running in the back here uh, to see if we can get the rgb running cool so here's the water block in its full rgb gloriness um, i'm just going to cycle through some colors while it's automatically cycling through some colors um, I just want to quickly put it on solid white so you guys can see the camera is picking it up a bit red it is a bit more white in real life blue green red and then all the colors in between it does have 16.8 million different colors that it can display it just depends what you make to, to control it So here's everything that you'll receive in the box. The water block, a 0.5 millimeter thermal pad, a one millimeter thermal pad, a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, thermal grease, M4 screws, M2.5 screws, and respective washers for those screws. With the 2.5 millimeter screws, you get adhesive washers which I'm not sure what they're for but we'll see in the installation guide when I do it. So this is actually the product why I'm making this video is because I couldn't find this anywhere on YouTube but I could find it on EK's website, but with all EK radiators, you receive the radiator, 30 millimeter screws to attach fans to the radiator, and then I think five millimeter screws to attach the radiator to your case, and then also the Allen range to do so. With the pump bracket, you'll receive the pump bracket, an allen wrench, some screws, washers, and nuts to attach your pumps to the bracket.
With the D5 pump reservoir combo, you receive the pump reservoir combo, the bracket to fix it to your case, rubber dampers for the pump to reduce the vibrations. This one is for more vibration, that one's for less, and but it holds it sturdier. Then a tiny piece of pipe or a sponge or the EK logo that's inside the reservoir at the moment to prevent the water from swirling too much inside the reservoir, a o-ring, a cap for the top of the reservoir, two sets of allen keys, small screws to, to clamp the bracket tight, and bigger screws to mount the pump. And then also a template to drill holes in your case if you want to mount it on straight onto your case. So that's it for this episode guys. All the products featured in this video I'll try to link down in the description below. Um, I am affiliated with Amazon. If you use the links down below it will not cost you anything extra but I do get a kickback from them so I would really appreciate if you guys use them. Comment, like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one.